How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the next League of Legends video. We're playing some more Soraka support, and we're running Airy, Mana Flow Celerity, Gathering Storm, Second Wind, and Revitalize. We're fading with an Ash, uh, someone on my friends list, actually, that asked me to duo. So, we're going to be playing with them against a Caitlyn and a Lulu. They have a Nocturne in the jungle. Looks like they have a relatively strong scaling team, as well, with Kale and Huey. So, we've got to figure out how to beat their bot lane pretty early. We're going to start pushing. It looks like they wanted to hit the wave. We're going to miss EQ. Lulu walked back on it perfectly. Took out their bone plating. Going to throw an auto at Caitlyn. Back up back into the bush. Running standard stuff. Nothing new uh, this game. Going to be the typical Moonstone and Redemption. It's a Friday, too, so happy Friday. Hope you guys enjoy this video here. We're already bullying them enough. Looks like I'm going to get autoed. Ooh, she missed her Q on me, and she didn't land her net auto on me either. So really good trade for us in terms of ability usage. Ooh, she walked right back into that Q. We'll heal up our Ash, drop a ward in the river. He's looking to play it safe and patiently. Our Camille and Talia did swap lanes because Camille gets countered by Kale, according to them. And I don't blame them. They did swap and they agreed. So, good spirits so far. Just going to keep backing up. We don't need to use a potion yet. Caitlyn wants to auto me out of the bush. She did miss that Q, so I have a good chunk of my HP left. I'm going to use one potion now. No harm in doing so. Just get the experience. I mean, we are playing as safe as possible because Caitlyn outranges Ash. A good way of us um, winning this next fight, if we are to do so, is if I land Q, she lands her slow. And we just run them down with uh, her activated Q auto attack. Got a free Q off of Lulu. That E root is pretty nice there. Gives a little bit of damage even though she was shielded. The Lulu's managing her uh, shielding very well. But they're also not shutting me down either, which means that the experience that I get is going to be valuable to the next objective. We did get that off. Let's do double damage. Oh, nice. We managed to have the Caitlyn take a tower shot. She was not expecting that. Slow her down. She's backing up with E. Good stuff for us. She's scared. Land another Q. Heal up Ash again. I'm not too concerned about my HP. It's just really Ash's because she's going to be our main pressure here. I can't do too much against Kate Lulu on my own. I can't trade with them evenly. Like that. See? Like, if she lands a full combo on me like that, I get down to a quarter HP or less. So I shouldn't even be bothering to contest like that. We're not even really struggling here for CS either. She's trying to aim at me with the traps. I did get smacked there, but it's okay. We're using Ghost on... Or Caitlyn's using Ghost to get away from us. So she still has Flash. Very nice ignite. Good job, good job. Uh, Camille did burn both summoners, but it works out for her. The jungler's nocturne. He can't really gank us from here. Ooh. 
Vi's pretty weak. Is she able to do that farm on her own without... Her shield's pretty pretty good here. Yeah, she's fine. I just toss the heal and leave. Is that mid or top? That's top. Ooh. Yeah, with mid dying, there really isn't any presence. This rocket is just isn't going to press heal tough. Oh, shoot. There was vision here. No. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm not really willing to read all this right now. I'm on my way. All right, so... Can we try and get this dragon now? I mean, Ash is looking to push. I noticed that what, like, the second that the lightning bolt came in, I was like trying to hit my f uh, my flash, but I was too slow on the trigger there. Uh, let me linger for. You know, if I had my ult a little bit sooner, I maybe could have saved Camille there. Okay, just dealing a little bit of damage. Lulu's going to take out our control ward. That's fine. We'll drop a Q. We're not really in a, that bad of a position here. Never mind. Very nice. Huge play from us. All right, two for two. Just another heal for her to return with. Just gonna linger for experience as I back. We're getting the last of the grubs as well. Perfect. Six grubs. Nocturne got topside pretty quickly. Wow, Tilia's 0 and 3. That's unfortunate. I'm going to run towards mid and heal my Camille. I couldn't reach her. I guess I'll stay and heal you again. Do you not know how to deal with this person?
clear vision as best as possible. Anybody here? I'm trying to bait the Hui a little bit more, but he's not taking it. Oh, Nocturne's here. Alright, yep, she couldn't get away. Nice work, team. I think this Mountain Drake's going to help us out a lot with um, Nocturne Ganks. Next is Ocean, so that's another mitigation dra uh, dragon. It'd be nice if we can get Chemtech for the soul. Where is this Caitlyn anyway? She would be back by now, wouldn't she? There she is. Get another heal for us. We can just stay, it looks like. This should be an easy arrow, wouldn't it? I mean, if you just keep Ash in front and heal her now. There we go. So we're going to have a very difficult game with the Huey and the Kale this game, but at least our um, at least our bot side is kind of strong. So technically two people on their side are really strong, two people on our side on their side are really strong. Not the worst. We do have our reward quest completed. So we just hyper-focus the uh, Ash, we'll be okay this game. Hopefully. Moonstone is completed. We got a shutdown on the Nocturne. I wonder if Talia's okay. No, my heal wasn't ready. I'm so sad there. Like, I made their effort. We got a Seraphs. Okay. All that effort. That's okay. We'll make it work. My flash wasn't even close to up by then. So, like, I flash healed the Talia, and my Dream Maker only blocked, like, 80 damage. I don't know why I burned Ulta and Camille, but I was trying to show that I had faith in them, and it didn't work. Uh, I don't know if there's a reason for us to be able, like baiting Kale, but there is a Hui being seen on Vision.
Don't go for me. I made her believe that she was going to be abandoned for a second. And a shutdown on Kale is pretty good. Very nice. Kill on Caitlyn. Nocturne's pushing mid in. Next Drake is up in 10 seconds. Let's try and get over there. Caitlyn will be present in the fight. Kale's probably going to be topside unless she does want to join this fight down here. She may have teleport. Yeah, I've got Ash here. We just need somebody to jump on top of the way. Control ward here. There's someone behind me. It was a Caitlyn? How'd she get there anyway? I thought our Camille was on Caitlyn. Where is she going? These fights can be a little sloppy, huh? Ooh, Chemtech Drake is the soul. Ooh, shut down? Potentially. Zonia's. Very nice. Still got him. I think it's honestly worth the shutdown. We also need that bot lane defended. Kale is not noticing where she's going here. Hmm. No, we can't auto her under tower. She's got too much range. Oh. Getting profane hydrid. Right in the mid lane. Not could engage here. He doesn't really have many much CDR. Well, they messed that up. At least the Rift Herald isn't hitting the tower. Nice. I am the Rift Herald Slayer. <laughs> we have our ultimate. We don't really see any real engage for them right now, but you never know. They could do something a little unhinged. I'm going to try and put a control ward over in the Baron pit. In case they want to go and try and sneak it with uh, Nocturne Kale. Yep, indeed. Make sure the Ash is alive, homies. Alright, Lulu's taking out the control ward. At least we know that there's two up there. Three now. Nocturne's taking our Gromp. Silence him. Ooh, I got a shutdown. I mean, we could technically go for the Baron now. We have the damage is 21 minutes, so the Baron isn't too strong. That wall's not bad. 
We've got Baron now. Let's just get Vi out of here. I need to flash and get there a little bit faster. Alright, let's push mid. No reason to be... Okay, too low HP for that. Oh, he hurts. Uh-oh. Any flash for me, too? How eager is he for a triple kill? My goodness. So, we greeted, it looks like. After chasing, then Nocturne turns around and triple kills us, and I couldn't heal Ash fast enough. I probably should have just dumped all my healing on her. That Guardian Angel would be very nice. And I think I'll even get a Knight's Vow third. So let's pick up a Glowing Emote for the extra Ability Haste. That'll be built towards Kindle Gem. I do have my Redemption. And we should not lose this Chemtech Drake. This will be really strong for us, and we'll be able to use it to make up for the Heal and Shield power that we won't get. I mean, we're fine, right? Like, just dump all my healing. Got to keep Vi up while the rest of the team kills their team. There we go. Four kills. No deaths on our side. Usually, I like to make sure that I'm healing my targets at low HP because then I'll get more of a bonus, but... In this instance, where they're looking to one-shot, you want to maintain their HP above half HP as best as possible so that any further executions, like not like Hoi Lightning Bolt or any execution damage from Nocturne, doesn't follow through. The three of them should be fine over there while me and Ash push bot lane. 1, 3, and 14 Dark score. We're level 12 compared to Lulu's level 9. Almost level 13. I was going to hit that plant, but I missed my auto there. I was back right here. I think I'm... Oh, no, I'm not okay. I got out of it. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? I'm just going to go back. Alt. And I also have redemption if needed, but I don't think I'll be able to reach in time for it. There we go, team. Get your heals. Kale need to be stopped. We don't have Ash Arrows, so she's going to get this tower for free. GG well played comes from the Huey. I'll just let Ash position forward. Kale's is going to clear wave. Where'd she go? Wow. I guess we can pinch her now. Like, there's no way that she's going to be able to get out for free here. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the uh, assist there. I would have liked that gold, but it's whatever. Caitlyn's kind of stuck.
All right, getting closer to Knight's Vow. We have a pretty good siege uh, opportunity here if we can do it. But Nocturne is alive, so we don't know where he is. I just don't want to be in vision when Nocturne does ult. Do we just end here? Big heals. Nocturne decided not to go in because his Caitlyn died. And Hui doesn't have ult. Just Baron. Baron's not a good, uh, not a good, not a bad idea, I mean. What am I saying? <laughs> and with Nocturne ult down, it's not like they can come in and jump at us anyway. Yeah, I don't think we go for it. Ash does have GA, so even not being with her is fine, but I do want to prep for Chemtech, and I also want to get my Knight's Vow. Care top, I'm not there. Yeah, we have two separate calls going, and I think Soul is probably the better call right now. Soul point. There we go, Camille. You said you weren't getting heals, but here are all your heals that you need. Support diff? True. All right, and that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. 35 to 23 score, 2 3 22 for us individually. Level 15 to the Lulu's level 11. We really kept up our pressure despite the fact that we had an iffy early game. Uh, let me give great shot calling to. I'll give a stage cool to Talia. Uh, Diamond 2, 80 LP. One more match, and I get Diamond 1 again. Crazy chat. Crazy. Alright, let's take a look at damage. 30,000 was the top number for our Ash. I mean, bound to happen based on how we were playing. They were 9, 1, and 9. Let's see. Ally healing. 36,505 for a 29-minute game. That's a... Wow. That's over 1,000 per minute. Healing done, 46,160 total. Vision score 70 to Lulu's 95 for Lulu. Like, they actually did have good vision, but they uh, couldn't beat the team pressure, unfortunately. All right, and if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, question if you comment if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Subscribe if you want to see more Soraka gameplay. And follow me on twitch.tv slash nazan underscore for live streams Monday through Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 12 p.m. Pacific. And... I will see you for the next video. Adios.